good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, it is a good morning. We're gonna go ahead and get out of this truck stop here now. We wasted enough time in here, I would think. <clears throat> We've been here now for 12 hours, I think, so it's time for us to get out of here. What do you guys think? Let's get back on the road and let's get some miles in. Although we only have, according to RJ, we only have 524 miles to do today, so uh, it ain't like it is like going to be a super, super big day, but we still got to do some miles, so let's go ahead and do that. At least try, right? If nothing goes wrong, we should be able to make her. That would be my thinking anyway, so uh, let's get us all strapped in here properly and then we'll be we'll be on the road before you know it. Yeah. I was at this truck stop not too long ago. I believe I was getting just fuel over here and taking a little break. I think that's what I was doing up here. Yeah, so it looks like we're finally getting some sunshine for a change. That's what it looks like. The sun is finally peeking through. I love it. And we want to go on to I-70, so we got to pretty in much go straight. Feet, turn right on IN3 and then take the entrance to the left in 50 feet. But right now we got a red light, so we're going to have to wait, right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's see. Hopefully, we can get our light on green. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, now we got our light on green. My drawer was not all the way closed there, so I had to push it closed. But anyways, let's get on the interstate and let's get some miles behind us today. Well guys, we are still cruising right on along here. We already got about two and a half hours behind us worth of driving. And I got looking at my paperwork there earlier and uh, it's actually saying on the paperwork there that they're open 24-7 this place. So I might be able to deliver early. So what I might try and do is give him a call here a little bit later when I stop here somewhere. And then uh, we'll see what they got to say. If I get in there today about 6.30, 7 o'clock, if they're going to unload me or not. That would be kind of nice if they did. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, we still got 366 miles to go. So going to take a little bit before we get there but hey it's all right but three four hours five no five uh, six but six hours i would say so uh yeah well, we do have to make a pit stop somewhere and take our half an hour break so won't be able to go all the way there without taking a half an hour break so but it's surprisingly nice and warm over here. I'm surprised. It's actually gotten very nice over here. It's right around the 20 mark right now. There, for one point, it seemed like it was like 22 Celsius there, and then it cooled down again a little bit. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I enjoy nice warm weather, especially this time of the year. If it's nice and warm like this, I know at least I don't have to worry about snow, right? But yeah, we'll continue on with our journey here and see where we decide to make a pit stop. Hopefully we'll see a rest area somewhere yet down the road. And we'll make us a quick pit stop and probably make us a sandwich or something and then continue on with our journey. I just had me a little bit of a pit stop here a few minutes ago. <clears throat> had my uh, half an hour off, actually turned into 45 minutes, but hey, that doesn't really matter. I call
called up the customer and uh, they said, yeah man, you can come in anytime. We're, we'll, we'll unload you anytime. They're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, except for holidays. So they said, hey, yeah, come on down. We'll get you unloaded. So uh, I sent this batch a message saying that uh, I can get unloaded here tonight. I called the customer. So they know about it. I can get unloaded here tonight. And that probably shouldn't take very long to get unloaded. Usually these places are pretty quick <clears throat> that I'm going to, so we'll see. Maybe that will get uh, the fire going under their butt and that will uh, hopefully get me a reload. <laughs> hopefully it will get, get uh, working on a reload here a little quicker if I can tell them, you know, I'll be, I'll be unloaded here tonight, so. But that would be nice though, that way I don't have to worry about getting unloaded tomorrow morning. And if we do get a load, a reload, then I can uh, pretty much as soon as my 10 hour break is done with, I can pretty much just uh, put her in gear and head towards my reload location and get my reload on, right? That would be fantastic if I could do that, you know, that way I can get some good miles in this month as well as we all know it's already November 1st today yes indeed it is so we all know next month is going to be Christmas and all of that stuff all them holidays up there so we ain't going to get as many miles next month so we're going to have to uh, get our effort into working hard this month so that way we can work out with all them holidays that we got next month so we can still survive but hey it's nice and warm down here that is a fact I don't need no jacket over here or anything like that I can just walk really nice and comfortable when I walk down the parking lot that is something I really enjoy. Except we're having to downshift a little bit. Yeah, well, <clears throat> we'll be in West Virginia, I believe, here later on yet. And all of that stuff, so there's quite a few hills up there, so we we'll have to get used to shifting a little bit more because we got less power in the truck now, so. But that's all right, we'll get used to it. We still get across these hills, over these hills, and all that stuff. So, but yeah, so let's see what will happen. Hopefully, we can get lucky and get unloaded real quick and get down to a truck stop for a quick 10 and make our way to a reload, right? Here we are, guys, just about to enter into West Virginia. Yes, indeed. We're going over a river here. Not sure which river it is or what it's called, but hey, there's a lot of barges up there and stuff like that to haul uh, across this Crossing river up here. Entering West Virginia. Yeah, I believe I showed it a little bit before, but hey, it's always nice to show it again, right? Who knows how long it's going to be before we travel this road again, although over the last month or so, this is the third time that we've been crossing this road third time that I'm going on this road and for the longest time I mean for six years or seven almost seven years I don't ever remember going this road too much at all but hey I love it I get good miles out of the deal and although it's a little hilly up here and we don't do the greatest on fuel mileage especially with the heavy load like I got but hey it's the way it is sometimes but I'm enjoying my trip, especially after talking it, uh, to the customer and knowing that I can get unloaded early. That makes me happy. So let's put the hammer down and make our way over there. All right, guys, we are still in West Virginia. Yes, indeed. But hey, we only have 174 miles more to go. 
and then we'll be at our delivery place. Yeah, it's looking uh, more and more like it. That will be there exactly around seven o'clock. It looks like if we don't have too much of a slowdown. It's been going pretty slow over these hills up here with the lack of power that I got on this truck. So. We've been having to downshift quite a bit and been very slow going over these hills, but ah well, we made it, right? That's all that matters. But yeah, it's been a nice, nice day here today. I'm really enjoying it. Nice and warm, like 23, 24 degrees most of the time. It's an absolutely gorgeous day all the way around. And I still haven't gotten the reload offer yet, but I do believe that they are working on something. Because they sent me a message earlier and asking me uh, what time I can get rolling. And so I told them, hey, you know, if it takes an hour to get unloaded here, you know, I can go another hour tonight. And if not, um, I can go at probably six o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see what they got to say. Maybe that will work out for the reload that they have planned for me, or that they're looking at, or whatever. But I guess we'll have to find out. So far, I don't know nothing. I have no clue what they're gonna do with me. But it would be nice if I could get me a load to Toronto. I would like that. And get me a few extra miles in. And that would be very nice, actually. But in the meantime, we gotta put the hammer down and get down to our delivery first, right? See if we can get our stuff unloaded first and then we worry about reload, right? That's how it usually works. You know, I don't have a whole lot of hours to go tonight anyway, so may as well wait till tomorrow, right? This is the day when you regret being a truck driver. You guys can probably see I'm in a work suit. You might be able to see some sweat on me. The reason why we're out here in this suit is you see these wet spots over here? You see all of that? That's from me. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, not a good situation here. And uh, when I got here to the customer, I noticed uh, a smell of diesel fuel. So uh, I knew something was wrong. I could kind of smell it a little bit before I got here already, but I wasn't sure what it was. But then I got here and I discovered, let me see if I can show you this. Let me put this on the bumper here and then maybe I can show you. A little line like that was broken off and uh, I remember a while back ago when I got hose connectors like that and even Jerry Ott made a little fun of me. Do you think uh, you're going to have a breakdown anytime soon? Is that why you're getting these connectors? Well, here is the reason why we needed them. Remember that little toolbox that I got? Yeah, right this one. That's where I got all of them connectors in. Let me open her up for you. You see that? That's what I got all these hose connectors. And uh, today was one of them days I had to use it. I had to use, uh, use that little thing that I just showed you there to put the hose back in there. I had to cut the hose off and put it back in there. Now it's sealed. Now I no longer have a diesel oil fuel leak. So I don't know how long it's been leaking, but it uh, must have leaked pretty good here because that hose was literally almost cut off. So anyways, I got to zip tie it all up here before they get me unloaded. We're in the dock here. So we'll get all that taken care of and then uh, we'll go to the truck stop and try and get us a shower. It is the next morning and we had us a very good night's sleep. Yes, indeed. We got unloaded fairly quickly there yesterday, but well, it took about an hour and a half, I think, for the whole process. So we were unloaded there yesterday, but uh, that gave me just enough time to fix my fuel line there, right? So uh, then uh, the hunt was on for a truck stop because uh, there's not much around this area. So uh, 
we finally the the discovered one and I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna be something that was worth checking out but uh, here it is here's the spiel this is my truck stop right here <laughs> can you see that yeah there's a few trucks in here yeah I managed to get in here but as you can see it's not very much room here so uh, if you're not all the way on that side trying to park and if there is other people parked alongside here what you got to do is come in over there swing her in all the way up here and then go up there to the garbage cans and then you got to back her into that corner and then swing her out beside the pump here so that's the only way you can make a u-turn in here and i had to back all the way up there to the street and then back in between these fuel islands to back her into the spot but you know what we got us a parking spot so all that matters i didn't have a whole lot of time left on my logbook so uh what can you do we got us a place to, sp to stay to park for the night and that's all it really comes down to right didn't get my shower that i wanted of course they have no showers here but uh there's a flying jet only about half an hour from here and i need fuel anyway so uh I'm gonna get ready here in a little bit and go down there to the Flying J and uh, get some fuel and we'll uh, take a shower. So anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you guys watching.